గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ వెల్కమ్ టు హార్ట్ అండ్ సోల్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా బ్రిడ్జ్ టు లైఫ్ ఫ్యామిలీ కౌన్సిలింగ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ ఆజ్ బీఆర్ థ్యాంక్యూ గాడ్ ఫర్ ద ఆల్ అవర్ ఆపర్చునిటీ టు షేర్ విత్ యూ ఐ ఆమ్ హియర్ అండ్ యూఆర్ థియర్ బట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎ మ్యాటర్ వాట్ వీఆర్ కమ్యూనికేటింగ్ టుగెదర్ గాడ్ ఈస్ ఎన్ ఓమ్స్ గాడ్ అండ్ గాడ్ గివన్ అస్ దిస్ ప్రొవిషన్ టు షేర్ వాట్ ఐ ఫీల్ ఇన్ మై హార్ట్ అండ్ విచ్ ఐ లెర్న్ ఫ్రమ్ ద వర్డ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ and with the lives of people so we are all living living in uh, different ways but doesn't matter that we are all moving with the same car all are living for uh, making their life more happy and pleasant is it possible many question many people are raising this question whether it is possible or not of course it is possible but uh, the experiences are different some people are experiencing their joy and happiness in a very different way because people are really created by the same core but they have different choices and here in this moment we come again to the family background and pictures so what we can do the best to make this life more pleasurable and more enjoyable because god has given us the first the most important the things which you need in our life is a security god secure our life we know that uh, the continuity of life is depend on the will of the lord the life can come and go any moment that's uh, depend on the god's plan and purpose but we are as long as we are living in the hands of god we are making sure to that it is the plan of the lord for me to continue to live in this world so we don't worry about uh, such kinds of things life is a beautiful things let us hand our lives in the hands of god and bow our head and pray for the lord's blessing heavenly father we thank you for the one more opportunity for us to talk about the elements which you have given us to make our life more presentable more enjoyable and more fruitful may you cover uh, this session also in your hand bless us also father in jesus name we pray amen one day two people are traveling in a plane and uh, one uh, older man was sitting near to a friend of mine and she, he shared like this he saw that uh, gentleman this man was uh, about 90 years old while he was uh, traveling he was trying to learn the each alphabets of the chinese language the wandering chinese language is, is the most complicated language in the world though it is uh, uh, spoken by millions and millions of people in that china and other some of the countries but this chinese language is the most complicated language that if anybody want to learn that languages the people should learn and to understand certain pictures even for a normal uh, level of understanding a person should conceive more than 5000 pictures in their mind because all the alphabets are designed in a pictorial way so unless you learn the sum of the pictorial uh, picture in your heart you could not uh, follow that language easily so it is uh, one of the hard language to understand the meaning so fit and even if an expert of uh, this language should know more than 1 lakh pictures in their heart so such a complex languages they have to grasp the thing from the root side and uh, uh, learning uh, pictures more than anything else then only they can uh, fix the, uh, la, the the alphabets in their hearts so this man about 90 years old is learning this language and this person asks sir are you learning this chinese language yes of course but in this at this age you are learning this of course he said that uh, i am learning i don't care my age how many days i would like to i would, i would spend in this world that is a different story for me i am engaged i am dealing i am working i don't care what is my future what is my past i am concentrating what is my present this is uh, an apply, very applicable to our present day family situations so many are worrying and thinking that what will happen to my family in future so
So there are a lot of things happened to my family. So I am grieving. I am be become very sorrowful to that what happened to the past. Even individually also people are thinking the same way. So I miss that chance. I miss that opportunity. I miss that uh, uh, lucky chance for me to engage something else. Many of our attraction drawbacks to us, our past life and past uh, influences. That is not good for us. And even also, some people are too much worried about the future. What will happen to me after hundred years, after fifty years? Who knows that you will leave after fifty years? That's all a funny thinking. So here, this old man says, even if I am ninety years old, I don't care. How many more years I need to uh, take to learn this language? But personally, I am happy because I am learning. So someone says like this: Don't count the flowers in a rose plant. The flowers will give you good fragrance, good smell, but you count the the the, the thorns in it. Even a hundred thorns makes in between only one flower will uh, flourish. So look on the blossoms, look on the flowers, look on the experience of fragrance. Don't touch the thorns and say that uh, this uh, uh, rose plant is a uh, uh, very hurting plant, though we don't want to plant it because it has given us uh, pains. So life is like that. The word of God says in Proverbs chapter four, verse twenty-six, it says like this: Ponder the path of your feet, ponder the path of your feet, and let your old ways be established, and let your old ways be established. A constant plan behind this word is: we have to establish something in this world. Our days will not come back again. Time never come back for anybody else. So that's why, therefore, we have to ponder our path uh, of your food, so that let all the ways will be established. The word of God is always making us to be more mature. So we need to consider in family life. We need to consider certain elements. Number one is the signs of our immaturity. So we need to understand that whether I am mature enough to lead a course or lead a life, lead a responsibility. If I am not in mature enough to take care of it, we have to hand it over. We have to accept it from that one. We have to understand our sense. Second one is signs of lack of preparation. So some people are not able to start their own family life, but because of the parental pressure or society's pressure or the group pressure, they forced to enter into the marriage life, and they they seems to be a great failure in their marriage life. So we have to understand the signs of lack of preparation. That's the element we have to consider. If a person is not fit for a particular job. <laughs> She should not, or he would would not enter into that job because he is not prepared. If a person is doesn't know about driving, how could he drive the vehicle on the highway? That is not only dangerous for him, that is dangerous to others also too. And next is a signs of a character weakness. So personal assessment is a must for each individual. If a person feels that I could not tolerate another person. Please tell them that don't enter into the marriage life unless you correct your character weakness, unless you do something to 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 uh, make it rectify the character weakness. You should not enter into a marriage life because marriage is holy. It is honorable to all people. That is the word of God is testifying that one. So in this morning, what the word of God says, it is a constant way you have to fix your eyes upon this family life. You should not test anything in the family life. Some people are arranging marriage for their children because of uh, their son or daughter wanted to uh, get a more healing in marriage. Of course, marriage is a place where you get a complete healing. I assure you, but don't enter into this marriage with a sickness or doubts. 
or fear or lack of confidence. If you drive the vehicle with lack of confidence, what will happen during the other time of encounter with other things? You may feel discouragement. You cannot continue it with that one. So these are the signals we should not avoid it. And signs of uh, parallel control is another factor. If you don't feel that you are independent, don't render in remarriage. Let, let your parents should control you. So unless and until you show the signs of maturity to be an independent person, to take decisions, to run your own way of life, you should not enter into the marriage. In olden days, uh, people were looking only the biological factor to get into marriage life. Even some are uh, even uh, still uh, uh, telling that even 13 years of age is sufficient for a girl and 18 is sufficient for a boy. They, they mean for that marriage is totally a biological reasons. But that is not fit for a real marriage. These two unmatured, immature people enter into marriage, what will happen to the marriage? So our approaches and our attitude towards marriage is, uh, is questionable nowadays. It's for satisfying some needs, some wants. That is that is not uh, an ideal uh, uh, perception to become, to start a marital life. So we have to understand that these uh, uh, kinds of uh, symptoms and uh, signals. So what do you expect and what we can give to marital life? Definitely we need a, a personal management, apply all the rules of the personal management in marital life. In Word of God says in uh, Proverbs chapter 25 verses 28 says, Whoever has no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down without walls. Without walls. Whoever has uh, no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down without walls. If it is an open city, what will happen? Enemies can come and go any time. It can, uh, they can make a steal, they can rob people, they can kill people. There is no security. Here we need a plan to prevent uh, the unwanted elements to enter into the Maria life. So we need it. No man can say that I am successful. Once we know that uh, even if we create war, also it's a problem. Even the wall of China made uh, through many centuries, they, many thousands and lakhs of people, they, 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 they put their effort to make this wall. Then what happened to this wall? They put uh, here and there the door for the wall. The enemies knows the, the watchman is a human being. They could, they could easily conquer the watchman by giving them bribes. Even within the hundred years of the story of that Chinese war, the enemies invaded China many times. Not by breaking the wall. Nothing happened to the wall. But what happened means they know how to influence the, the watchmen of that door. The same thing happened of the Babylon, the, the wall of the Babylon fort. The king uh, Belshazzar was celebrating with his concubines and uh, all the uh, royal people in the night and the enemies came and they conquered the people. That's what the end of the state of Babylon according to the Bible history says that. So war concept is good. If you are unable to preserve the war also it's not a safe uh, measure for you sometimes. So here we know that uh, there are a lot of things we have to develop to protect the family, to maintain the family, to sustain the family. So we need to uh, put many things like uh, developing skills to manage your career, manage your time, manage your people, manage your schedule, manage your uh, finance and uh, developing the basic household skills to maintain the family. It's important for all the people. Even the highest, very scholarly people also fail to continue their family life. 
many successful people came out of from the successful family because they experienced this kind of security from their family they have a schedule life they have a personal management so number one thing is uh, giving the ability or uh, concentration to career career is important things for each family husband is working especially in modern family husband is working wife is working children are studying family is very active here they should apply the personal uh, management in their life situation they should manage the people of their home they should manage the resources of their home they should manage the future of the home they should uh, manage the situation of the home so husband and wife with the children should think and uh, make a plan for all such things especially in career career is the main questionable things for husband and wife husband is uh, walking 1000 km away from the home wife is sometimes uh, having a transport job so this family husband and wife is the living separately in separate town what about the children's life so it's very very hard for many people i know i appreciate many people who are suffering and managing somehow with their families they lost many of their pleasure moment and trouble time with the family because of this career problem so everybody should understand that the husband and wife should live together so when you get married with a person try to understand these elements try to avoid the the problems within the career and uh, try to get a job in one city itself or one state itself so that uh, they can have uh, some flexible time schedule to manage with their career and moreover another issue is that career is a main problem between the newly wedded husband and wife for example we could see that in the film industry as a actress has wanted to continue their profession but the husband doesn't want uh, his wife to involve this because of many other elements are there but uh, the, what, what i what i feel that many wives wanted to be more independent financially so therefore they wanted to go for work otherwise they have to think of uh, other things uh, in a very elaborate way like uh, finance you fa uh, husband is uh, more reserved on uh, keeping his fund wife is uh, totally standard she is upset her needs are plenty nowadays not like older days in our days there are many wants and many needs are there for women but always depending on the husband for a money issue money factor is a discouraging factor for many wives in the home so what should be the this issue now so fa uh, husband should pay a lump sum amount to wife to meet her needs or some people feel that uh, let her ask the money they should ask her even for a 5 rupees or 10 rupees from husband so that nothing wrong in it if your mindset is okay for both of you it's nothing wrong in it but if it is not workable please all husbands please give some finance to your wife a considerable amount to spend for don't question that amount she can buy she can spend she can give and let you have a certain freedom in the financial uh, spending otherwise you should allow her to earn the financial some of her career some of her work avoid this conflict from the home therefore apply all the pers- personal management principle in the home situations otherwise families will suffer children will suffer if your future will suffer so we need to understand uh, these areas the career management and also think about uh, the children what kind of job they have to look forward so please talk to them and uh, understand their capabilities and understanding and choices then make them and shape them accordingly so that children will uh, like that career earlier itself they could have a choice they could have a selection and uh, they could enter into a job or a study program very happily you don't give any confusion even at the last moment also if you ask this question to some family they'll say we are not so far we are not prepared then what else you studied oh we studied a course for what purpose there is no aim for that purpose as a is a common fact in our society yes up to yourself we can understand but after ourselves see people go to choose select a, a course according to their choice according to their career goal 
then only they will be equipped. So many people are in suffering nowadays. Now other things are uh, the, your finances. So how to manage your uh, monthly income, income and expenditure. Nowadays we have many, many obligations, financial obligations. So many are buying home, buying car, buying vehicle, buy, buying land, assets. So huge loan is available for many, many people nowadays. But the thing is, are you aware of the percentage of the interest you are paying monthly to them? Monthly to banks. Nowadays, uh, they have a facility, the system to recover the finance, bad debts. They will use force. They will give threaten, threatening to families. So that all affected the existence of family. Therefore, so getting money and spending money and you are accountable to you. You are accountable to each other. You are accountable to your government. You are accountable to your family. So therefore, family need more attention, especially they have to apply the personal money and the principles into their day-to-day -day life. I talk about the career. If you are unhappy with your personal career, why should you continue with the unhappy career? Nowadays, the world market is very open, wide open, the global market. So you could choose another career. If your goals are not going through, achieve through your personal career, you should take a powerful decision. Even six months to two years is time is sufficient to get a training. You take a leave or a resign job and to get trained and go for a higher goal or a higher career. That will give you the more, more uh, ability, capacity. So I, I, will, I address many people, if you are not happy with the percent income in our country, why don't you think of going to abroad? Many, many Indians, many, many of our brothers and sisters working in different countries. They are earning and they are spending that money for our country, our people, sending money for the education of the children, sending money to helping many of the old, old age people. So bless that people, help that people, remember that people and oppress because they are doing their best life, best service for not only for themselves but for our people, our country. Next area we have to understanding is uh, uh, finance in saving and, uh, and investing. Don't spend all the money. Many people lavishly spending and borrowing money. Spending and borrowing is not uh, coming matching together. That will ruin your future. So family should get a financial expert in this matter. If you are unable to uh, discuss and unable to make a solid plan, you could ask some expert, even each church needed, each community needed, some experts, they could uh, plan well to help the families. Let me continue with that. Another area is a time management. 24 hours time is very common. It is fixed for everybody in the world. The wise to the fool, the same old things are there. The rich to the poor is the same to all people. So it's more than 86,000 uh, uh, seconds for people for a day. That is equally distributed to among all the people. So we have to have a wise advice to schedule our time well and put the priorities. So you have to take care of uh, your time management, make a, a schedule for that one, and uh, give the uh, potential time to lost, uh, lost time, especially we are spending time in prayer with the family, once in a week at least with the church, and to visit people, and uh, give uh, a good timing, and put a goal for your uh, time management. What is the best goal for your time management? Are you wasting time or are you utilizing time to strengthen your relationship with God? And at the same time, you have to strengthen your relationship with your society. Time management is very, very important for all. We have only 365 days in a year, 7 days in a week, 24 hours in a day. So dear ones in family, time concept is a very crucial element. You have certain time limitation for everything. So all such things we have to conclude and think that personal management principles are very good. So from where you go and get this personal management? From Bible itself. The book of Proverbs is advising us. The word of God is advising us. Read it, handle it and apply it. 
so that you may have a beautiful family life. May God bless you with these verses. And uh, make sure that people are praying for you. You should pray for others. Strengthen your relationship. Thank you so much for uh, watching today's uh, Heart and Soul programs. If you have any questions, anything else to share with us, you have want to personal counseling, please call our uh, telephone number, mobile number. We are people, the BTL people are available in various cities to help you. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Shall we pray and commit ourselves in the hands of God. Father in heaven, we bless all the families, those who are watching this program. It's our choice to, Lord, express our gratitude to you this moment. Because Lord is the Lord who has given us a sole plan to enjoy this happy life. Make everybody's life become a happy. Thank you, Lord. Even though bushes are there, but we are looking the flowers. God is sufficient to make you flowers in our life, even in the midst of the pains of the bushes. Bless all the family this moment. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for watching the Heart and Soul program. May God bless you. Thank you.